back inside, sage and brush watercolors. I, I was just thinking about what I want to show you <clears throat> that I did this morning. Uh, a couple things. First, uh, beside the obvious foliage, uh, let's look at the water in the background again. Uh, I took just, you know, it's a light blue basically. I took a little, little darker blue and indicated just a few lines to kind of uh, denote maybe some waves, It'll give it a little motion, just a little bit. Also, um, this morning I put mask it, or art masking fluid, I sometimes called mask it, down here in, in an area which I think I'm going to, I want to protect now, and I'm going to end up making it kind of a sandy color, and I'll consciously try to match some of this color up here so we can have color coordination. I also put in uh, some of the lighter greens and, and yellow greens that I think the sun might be hitting with the foliage. And I even tried to incorporate a little bit of this green just for coordination. Another thing I, I forgot to mention that I, I did uh, this morning too, I took uh, a thin, what they call a rigor, rigor type brush, real long thin, and I did put just a hint, a very, th very thin lines of a dark brown, not to delineate every shingle, but to give it uh, more of an effect that there might be shingles. And uh, then I put in uh, obviously, like I said, some, some lighter areas of greens uh, that I want to be hitting the sun. And now, we're going to work on putting in more greens, but more uh, darker values. And using a little sap green, mostly, and just putting a preliminary, mixing in with a little uh, sapia, preliminary uh, foliage, bushes, that may or may not be there in real life, it's just a little bit of artistic license for me to put in some foliage here. And I don't want the foliage to be too distinct, not every leaf painted, just kind of loose. And I'll just keep doing that. It's okay if I leave some spots unpainted. So I'm using right now, because red's the complementary color uh, of green, I'm using a little uh, cadmium red and uh, sap green mixed, make a dark color. And I'm almost dry brushing it to give a texture effect just in areas where I uh, am declaring <laughs> it's an arbitrary choice that are in shadow. So I'm really doing this layering effect. I put the light green, lightest areas in first. And generally in watercolor, you work from light to dark. And then as, as it dries, I keep going in with the darker color, combination green and red. And now to really make it, when I want to have real dark areas, I'm almost using pure red, or you can use a lizard and crimson over the green. And remember, in earlier videos, this is about contrast, light and dark, and uh, just to give the impression, this is kind of an imp impressionistic uh, aspect of this uh, fairly realistic painting. Okay, so uh, we're really uh, 
almost finished and uh, all I need, need to do yet is put in this area here and I'm, I'm going to make this sort of sand and maybe some grass is sticking up and then when we come back uh, the next time you see this painting I'll have it finished and matted and then we'll talk about how, how I did it. Okay, well obviously I love painting and I also love uh, growth and, and uh, anything metaphysical, philosophical, that kind of thing. That's where these memos come from, from my heart. Um, and today we have actually two quotes from Picasso. Uh, and, and they both apply to my whole series, this whole series of painting from the heart. The first one says, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. And the, the second quote, and I'll tie both of these in in a minute, is the quality of a painter depends on the amount of past he, I put in, or she, carries with him. So I know some of you have not seen my debut video, the first one, and, and some have. And in that video, remember, I, I talk about, I tell the story of, uh, when I asked an elderly man how long it took him to paint his picture, and that was before I ever knew I would paint, and his answer was it took him 72 years to do that one watercolor. So, of course, there he was telling me that he put his whole life goes into every painting, and that's what Picasso is saying, that the quality of a painter depends on the amount of past that he carries with him. So the way you carry your past with you is to, is to stay focused on your heart, in the now. That's my two cents of wisdom for today. <laughs>